Boy, what are the odds that your old fanime shares the name of a new game? Today I'm talking about the new indie game that just released recently, Blue Fire, and no, it has nothing to do with my first fanime series, Quest of Blue Fire. What's cooking, LFZ squad? Before we begin, I just want to say that I am not trying to badmouth the creators of this new game. I actually think it's really cool, not only because of the name, and I really want to try it. So as some of you may have heard, there was a new indie game called Blue Fire that came out not too long ago on PC and the Switch, and I got a few messages about it because in 2016 I made Quest of Blue Fire. No, I'm not bashing on Roby Studios who developed this new game. I actually talked to them about it on Twitter and we had some good laughs about it. I have no bad blood with them using Blue Fire as a name. As a gamer myself, I think it's a pretty cool coincidence. An indie game is a great way for me to show off how much of a hit my first fanime was. So, let's talk about both of these projects. Quest of Blue Fire released on January 8, 2016, and is a fanime series amongst the likes of Neon Neko Sugar Girls. Plus the blue fire revolved around a literal anthropomorphic fire humanoid creature, this species would later be dubbed Fire Soul, very creatively named Blue Fire. Taking place in an alternate dimension chock full of these Fire Soul creatures, Blue Fire would journey around the world, making new friends and battling powerful enemies at the same time. Think Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, or One Piece. Even had a lot of screaming which is the most important part if you are creating a shonen battle series. Definitely super, super important. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. game developed by Argentinian developer Roby Studios was announced in March 2020 and released on February 4, 2021 and is an action-adventure game amongst the likes of the 3D Zelda games or Hollow Knight. In this game, you are a warrior exploring a kingdom named Penumbra. The game consists of combat, platforming, and puzzle solving. I've heard it's a pretty challenging game, and I'm definitely gonna give this game a shot. Action-adventure games are my favorite genre, so I think I'll definitely find some enjoyment out of this. So, how are these two works similar? First off, the name. Kinda like how the movie Avatar and the cartoon Avatar The Last Airbender, which is great, you should totally check it out, share the same name but are two completely different things, Blue Fire and Quest of Blue Fire share the name. But it's not only that, it's some of the basic ideas. Both revolve around a character exploring a fantasy world and battling powerful enemies. In Blue Fire, these were the enemies and bosses, and in Quest of Blue Fire, these were the villains of the week for the earlier episodes, and the overarching villains in the later episodes. The main character of Blue Fire, Umbra, has powers and is a warrior. Quest of Blue Fire's protagonist, which the show is named after, has powers and is also a warrior. Same ideas? I think so! They were both created by indie creators, Blue Fire having been done by a small team, and Quest of Blue Fire having been done by a middle schooler in his bedroom, and some friends who helped him out here and there. And that's incredible, like, oh my god, who can do better than a 12 year old kid obsessed with Minecraft, you know? It's like, totally impossible, but that's really where the similarities of these two projects end. Differences? There are plenty. Of course, in Blue Fire, from the gameplay I've seen and what I know, it's a single player experience, so as such, there's probably only one playable character. I haven't played the game myself, so don't trust me for that. Plus, the Blue Fire did start out with just Blue Fire on the team, but over time, the group expanded. You want one Fire Soul? Take one, another one, another one, and another one. There you go, you got a whole bunch of flame fighters in assorted colors. Such a good way to show how creative you are by switching the colors around. Blue Fire and Quest of Blue Fire are very different works of art from each other and should be appreciated as such. Blue Fire is an indie game that deserves to be loved seriously by the people who are playing it, while Quest of Blue Fire is a fanime that probably deserves an ironic following to say the least. Hey motherfuckers, Firestorm! Oh yeah, did I mention that the animation of Quest of Blue Fire is fucking glorious? It totally is, don't let your eyes deceive you. 
Like I said, Roby Studio, I will definitely try your game out. I have no hard feelings against you for using the Blue Fire name, and I might even make a joke out of this in the quest of Blue Fire successor of Entia. But anyways, that's it for this video, just me talking about Blue Fire and Quest of Blue Fire. To check out the Quest of Blue Fire show, there's a playlist with most episodes below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell some friends too, and I'll catch y'all next time, LFZ Squad!